Good afternoon and welcome to the UIC commencement, everybody. I am Ranjit Sauri, faculty member in the UIC Business Professional Development Program. I will be your marshal of the day. Welcome to the College of Business Administration commencement ceremony. Before we begin, I would like to ask everyone to take a moment to turn off all cell phones and other electronic devices that might distract from our ceremony today. You may turn those off now. Thank you. I would like to remind all graduates to be courteous of your fellow graduates and remain with us for the entire ceremony. Thank you. The UIC Wind Ensemble, under the direction of Jose Riojas, will now play the Star Spangled Banner. Will everyone please rise, if you are able, and join accounting graduate John Ignacio in singing the Star Spangled Banner. You can find the lyrics in the commencement program and on the big screen. Thank you, UIC Wind Ensemble and Jose Riojas and John Ignacio. Will the graduates and the platform party please be seated, as I see you are already doing, <laughs> while our guests remain standing if you are able. That's right, family and friends, stand if you are able, please. We are here today to recognize our graduates, but we know that the graduates' success is due in large part to the support and love of their family and friends. Graduates, let's give a big round of applause in appreciation for your family and friends. Thank you. Guests, you may now be seated. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the members of our platform party who have joined us today to offer their well wishes and support to our new graduates. Those members may stand as I say their names. The platform party includes Chancellor Michael Amaritis, Provost Susan Poser, Vice Chancellor Joanna Groden, Special Guest Mary Dillon, Graduate College Dean Karen Colley, and our UIC Business faculty and staff. 
Thank you, Platform Party, for all of your support of our students. Please join me in welcoming Michael McHale, Dean of the College of Business Administration, who will open today's ceremony. Good afternoon. First off, congratulations, graduates. Give yourselves a hand. All of you here today should be proud of your achievements. Not only have you survived a lot of tough classes here, but so many of you did it while taking on full-time and part-time work, taking on leadership roles in student orgs, internships at demanding firms, uh, and so many more things. That's why, personally, I know that you're ready to take on the world and to make an impact in the world. Your accomplishments were made possible by a wider community. So I'd like to offer my congratulations to all of the parents, family members, friends, faculty, college support staff, everybody who had advice, emotional support, uh, financial support to these grads over the last few years. So thank you for supporting our students. As you walk across the stage today, you follow in the footsteps of tens of thousands of successful UIC business alumni who have achieved success in many different fields and endeavors. Now it's your turn to use your strong academic foundation to embark on a path of success in both your professional and personal lives. As UIC business grads, you have key competitive advantages that will help you transform your ambitions into success. You have developed as members of UIC's diverse student community. You've learned to adapt to new technology, and you've demonstrated great determination and work ethic in achieving your education. In our global economy today, we must be able to work with diverse groups of people. You're graduating from one of the most diverse schools in the country. Your exposure to different backgrounds and perspectives equip you for success in a diverse workforce and in a market that spans the globe. This market rewards those who can see opportunity in change, changing technologies. As graduates of UIC Business, you've been trained to learn. You've been trained to see ahead of this technological curve. You have an advantage over those of us behind the curve. And you'll have to work to maintain that advantage in your careers. You're part of the generation that will not merely use and learn from emerging technologies, but also improve upon them and invent them. UIC students share backgrounds that make them strong people and hard workers. Many of you, are the first in your families to attend college. You are not the products of privilege. You and your families worked hard to afford your college education. You know how to work hard, and you don't rely on others to get ahead. You have faced adversity and have overcome it with resolve. I know you will use that same determination and work ethic to achieve your career goals. Sitting here today, many of you are anxious. You face a daunting transition, the beginning of your careers. Have confidence that you are well prepared to face whatever challenges lie ahead. And UIC business will always be your home. Keep in touch with faculty, with your career advisors, and with your fellow alumni. You are now members of one of the largest and strongest networks in Chicago. Use this to your advantage. I hope you will always be proud to be a member of our UIC family. We are certainly proud of you. Congratulations again. I now have the distinct honor of introducing Michael Emeritus, Chancellor of the University of Illinois at Chicago. Michael Emeritus is Chancellor of the University here at UIC under his leadership over the past four years, 
the university has experienced record enrollments every year and is undergoing the most ambitious construction projects on campus in decades. He has strengthened the university's relationship with the city of Chicago and engaged in an effort to bring greater national and international visibility to UIC. A chemical engineer by training, Chancellor Emeritus holds degrees from the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki and the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I'm sure I butchered that name. Uh, please welcome Chancellor Michael Emeritus. I think they did, the dean did fine pronouncing Wisconsin Madison. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the University of Illinois at Chicago Spring Commencement Ceremonies. In fact, this is the last of 13 ceremonies that we had over the last five days, and I think that we have saved the best for last. <laughs> Families and friends of our graduates, mothers, fathers, grandmothers, grandfathers, brothers, sisters, spouses, partners, children, aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, nephews, in-laws, neighbors, friends, whoever you are that you are here today, thank you. Thank you for being here today for our graduates and thank you for everything that you have done during the last few years to support our students. We have a great class of 2019 to present to you, but watching you and listening to you so far, I start having some doubts that you agree with this statement. You see, I haven't heard you being loud. I haven't heard you cheer, shout, clap. I haven't heard you demonstrating your joy and pride in these candidates for degrees right now. All that I have heard is some polite clapping, which translates somewhere between, I really have to do this, and maybe, maybe I'm happy. So graduates, I'm really afraid that I'm more proud of you than your own families and friends. But I'm going to give them an opportunity to redeem themselves and rock this place. As I say, congratulations, class of 2019. All right, they love you. They love you. We got this right this time around. There's still room for improvement, but still the ceremony is young. Graduates, I want to thank your professors, your mentors, and advisors. I want to thank the UAC staff members, the ones who helped push you through your most challenging projects and assignments where you couldn't see past the mountain of work that sometimes you let it pile up on you at the last moment, but they were there to help you. So please join me in thanking the faculty and the staff of USA's College of Business Administration. <laughs> and also take time today to congratulate and thank your classmates. Thank your study groups, your dorm groups, for those of you who were in the residence halls. Thank the people with whom you worked together. You kept each other awake before the exams, and sometimes during classroom, you are all here today as one graduating class. It's all about you. You did it. You're graduating. Since this is my final opportunity to offer some words before you confer your degrees, and I have a special connection with the class of 2019 because a number of you of the undergraduates came in as freshmen in 2015 when I was a freshman as well. You are graduating in time, which is wonderful. I'm becoming a super senior. That's fine as well. But I want to go over what you will be taking with you when you walk out of these doors today as UAC alumni. Of course, you will be walking out with your academic credentials, with your degrees. Now, the truth of the matter is that you will not be walking out with your degrees. We are giving you an empty folder when you walk through the stage. But trust me, the degree is in the mail. You will get it. But the point is that you will be walking out with a strong fundamental understanding of the principles of your discipline. But this is not the only thing. You will be also leaving UAC with a real life experience that comes from completing projects, from completing research assignments, 
from completing internships and from meeting important deadlines. These are qualities that employers look for. The fact that many of you also balance jobs and in many cases family obligations at the same time that you took care of your academic responsibilities shows your deep level of commitment, responsibility and determination to succeed. And Dean McHale made exactly the same point a few minutes ago. You will be also leaving UAC with the foundation you will need to join society as fully engaged members in our rapidly globalizing world. Over the last four or five, maybe six years for some of you, you have been engaged in a global community right here near the center of a global city. You have experience with people who speak different languages. You have experience with people who come from different religious and cultural backgrounds. And you have thrived in an inclusive environment that has defined your education and has also defined your university experience. UAC's environment is unique in this sense and has prepared you for the changes that they are coming for the future of this country. You will also be leaving UAC with an enhanced responsibility for civic engagement and service to others, especially those who are underserved. This is one of the core values of this university and during your studies here, you have seen the entire university community participate in such efforts and actually a number of you have done this yourselves. This is the tradition and legacy of the University of Illinois for Chicago and faculty, students, staff and alumni practice this every day. And finally, I hope that you will leave UAC with a lot of pride for your alma mater. This is a university that demonstrates academic excellence at the highest level. It is also a university that advances knowledge through its world-class research, while at the same time, it has a tremendous impact on the lives and well-being of the most vulnerable citizens of this city and of this state. And I urge you to proudly tell the people that you will meet in your new work environments that you have not only graduated from Chicago's only public research university, but in fact you have graduated from the university for Chicago. On behalf of UIC, I promise you that it will always be your university and we will continue to support you. Like you, we will continue to grow in strength and reputation, enhancing in the process the value of your degrees. We will continue to make you proud the same way that you are making us proud today, but you have also made us proud throughout your stay here. After all, the greatness of a university is the sum of its alumni, and you are now part of this equation. And please remember to share your future accomplishments with us and return to visit and mentor the students who follow in your footsteps. I think the first major reunion for you is coming in 2039, so please mark in your phones May 2039, going back to UAC, and I hope this is not going to be the first time that you will be coming here. I'm not going to be around in 2039, but I hope that you guys will be around. Set an example for the next students on how to be engaged. Go out and tell the world about what you have accomplished at UAC, because you are now our university's greatest ambassadors. Congratulations, class of 2019, and Godspeed. I'm pleased to welcome a special alumna to speak with you today. Mary Dillon, a 1983 UIC business graduate, has extensive experience leading consumer-driven brands. As the Chief Executive Officer for Ulta Beauty, Ms. Dillon believes strongly in leading through the lens of culture and was named number nine on the 2018 Business Person of the Year by Fortune Magazine. Please join me in welcoming UIC business alumna, Mary Dillon. Hello and thank you for that lovely introduction, 1983. Good afternoon, I am really honored, I'm so honored to be here with you today. I can really feel the energy and the pride, the hope and the excitement in the air 
and I'm thrilled to be part of your celebration. I'm also really honored to be surrounded by your friends and your family, university faculty, all of whose support I'm sure helped you get to this place today. So a little bit about my background. I'm really proud of a proud Chicago native. I'm an alumna of this university. Yes, I graduated in 1983 with a major in marketing and a minor in Asian studies. So why? I really had no idea what I wanted to do, but I had been an exchange student to, to Japan when I was in high school. In fact, that was the first time that I was on an airplane. So somehow I thought maybe international business could be in my future. A little more background. I was born in the early 60s in a neighborhood that's now known as West Inglewood. The fourth of six children, my father was a steel worker and my mother a homemaker. And I lived there until we moved to the western suburbs when I was entering junior high school. So like many of you, I'm a first generation college graduate. And I put myself through school with financial aid, student loans, and many, many part-time jobs as a bank tailor, as a house cleaner, and my favorite waitressing at RJ Grunts. My parents knew that we should go to college, but they really left the rest up to us. So I'd say as far from helicopter or snow plowing parenting as you can get. But I discovered UIC and I received a great education here as you have all done as well. And I'm really proud about how hard I worked to make that happen. And I know that you can all really relate to that. And I hope you're proud of yourselves as well. I'm also proud about the career journey that I embarked on because my story I think is a good example that anything is really possible. So I'm often asked, when did you know that you wanted to be a CEO? Which is kind of funny because I didn't even know anybody in the business world, much less any CEOs, until I graduated from college and started my first real job. So maybe some of you aspire to be a CEO or start your own business. Maybe you have other aspirations, but all I can say is I know a couple things. You can make a positive difference in the workplace because of who you are and what you bring to the world. Also, you can truly set out whatever you choose to achieve. Throughout my 35-year career, I've learned a few important things about myself, about business, about leading people, and I'd like to share some of those with you today in the hope that they can be helpful in your journey as well. So the headline here, I would say, is that I really believe deeply in leading through values-based leadership. I know that successful careers can be made and businesses can be successful while leading through the lens of certain core values. And for me, those include listening and respect, acceptance and inclusion, and collaboration. And my advice is you can and should examine your own values and make sure that the places that you choose to work have values that are consistent with your own. So more on the values that drive me and Ulta Beauty. So first, listening and respect. So after graduation, I, for a time I had a job at a bank in Chicago, and I knew pretty quickly that that wasn't really for me. I networked my, my way into getting my resume in front of the right person at the Quaker Oats Company, which is now part of PepsiCo, and was hired into their marketing training program. And this early break truly set me up for the wonderful career that I've had for many years. You know, however, back then I was not really sure how it was all gonna turn out. I realized after some time that I was the first undergraduate that was hired in this program that didn't have a liberal arts degree from an Ivy League school. So I thought maybe they had made a mistake and it was pretty intimidating. But after some time, I started to realize that I could be successful there too. I worked really hard, I put in a lot of hours, and I also had a realization that my background in some ways gave me an advantage. And that was in my ability to respect and listen from everyone that I encountered, from someone in sales with 30 years of experience to someone running a manufacturing line in a cereal facility. Remember, I grew up with a father who worked in a factory, so it seemed really natural to show respect and know that I had some things to learn. And frankly, as I look back, I realize that that attitude helped me to not only learn, but to build relationships and create followership so that when I became a leader, people wanted to follow me. I didn't show up like I had all the answers from day one. And to this day, I watch very closely how folks that I interact with treat people, people like waitresses, clerks, and janitors. It tells me a lot about their character. 
Much later in life, I remember walking into a big corporate office of a company that I, where I worked, and I was with somebody who had been there for many, many years. And at that time, we had to show our ID every day when we walked through the front door, and I realized I'd forgotten mine. So I said hello to the receptionist, Morales, and she waved me right through, said hello, but she did stop to look at the ID of the longtime executive. And as we walked away, he said to me, I've been here for 30 years, and she has never done that for me. And I thought, well, maybe it's because I actually know her name. I thought that. I didn't say that. <laughs> My husband and I have really, I would say, modeled this for our children as well. And I'm really proud to see them as adults being truly curious about others, treating people with respect, and not being status conscious. Believe me, they never let me pull the CEO card at home as they were growing up but certainly they're proud of my accomplishments today. So bottom line, my advice is that all of you have these life experiences and the ability to relate. You've traveled in different worlds, you've worked really hard, you've blazed new trails for yourselves and for your families, and you're gonna continue to do that. So take your journey along with you. You might be surprised how it makes you stand out. So closely related to listening and showing respect is truly demonstrating acceptance and inclusion. I believe in acceptance and inclusion as core values just as a human, also as a working mom, and Ulta Beauty believes in this as well. And the good news is that our country is getting more and more wonderfully diverse every day. And so for a business like ours, and for folks like you who are just beginning your careers, it can be a real advantage to embrace and understand inclusion. So why? Consider this. Today, every one in two babies born in the US is multicultural. More than 50% of Americans will be non-white in 25 years. Hispanics are the fastest growing segment of the US population. The percentage of American adults identifying as lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender is double for millennials what it is for the, the overall population. And more teenagers are identifying themselves with non-traditional gender labels. Facebook now offers over 50 custom gender options. So you know what, these aren't trends, they're really just new norms and attitudes, attitudes that really matter. And businesses like Ulta Beauty better understand changing demographics and mores to meet changing customer expectations. And the same holds true for our workforce. We need to be a great place to work for folks of all races, genders, sexual orientations, and identities. And we're on a journey. Today at Ulta Beauty, it's about creating an environment where all voices can be heard, where every associate feels truly that they can contribute, where every guest is optimally served regardless of differences. And this comes to life best for me when I'm in our Ulta Beauty stores and I'm interacting with our diverse associate base and they're committed to reshaping the way the world thinks about beauty by representing its limitless possibilities in all forms in our stores, in our advertising, our social channels, and every platform. But as I said, it has been a journey. If I go back to just a few years shortly after I joined Ulta Beauty a few years ago, as an organization, we were not thinking enough about change of demographics. Many guests would walk into our stores and not see someone who looked like them in our images or be able to walk out with the right product for their skin color or their hair type. We know the changing face of America dictates more intentional efforts to elevate inclusion in business. And this mindset is one of the many things that you all bring to the table as graduates of this thriving urban campus. The diversity of UIC business dramatically exceeds that of the US population and certainly exceeds that of many rooms like this across the country. So your mindset, your values, and your worldview are truly advantages that you can bring to the table from day one. In fact, business leaders like me need you to bring those values to the table from day one. And believe it or not, even at this stage of my life and career, there are times when I am the minority in the room. So whether it's gender, race, or just being the new kid on the block, one thing I encourage you to do is to find your voice and use it with confidence. And also, as you're working in teams or ultimately growing in your career, help other people to be heard. Call on someone who you think has a perspective or an idea to share. Second an opinion when you agree with it. And doing so can change the whole dynamic in the room and create an environment that is more accepting and inclusive. 
And the third value that's important to me is collaboration. Listening and respect, acceptance and inclusion, these are foundational to effective collaboration. And I believe strongly that the best business results happen when you work with experts across different functions, all thinking through an enterprise lens, and I teach this to leaders at Ulta Beauty every day. No one person has all the answers, I am sure of that. But I do know that the most powerful solutions come out of functional experts working across their silos to imagine possible solutions. You know, just a few simple examples from our business where collaboration is critical to our short and long-term success. How can a future supply chain strategy work if that department doesn't work with marketing to understand shifting consumer needs in convenience and online shopping? How can our store teams truly meet the guests of all of our, uh, meet the needs of all of our guests if our merchandising teams don't understand changing demographics and offer the right shades of foundations, for example? How can our real estate team pick the right future spots if they don't work with HR to understand labor markets and employment trends? So back to you, regardless of what major department you land your first job in, remember the ability to ask the right questions of your peers, the ability to thrive in a dynamic team environment and capitalize on the strengths of others are qualities that employers like me are looking for in new graduates like you. I'm convinced that with the diversity of the world experiences and perspectives that you all represent, combined with your incredible work ethic and humility, and if you truly listen to and include others, you could be the world's best collaborators and truly an asset for corporate America. So to sum it up, regardless of where your journey takes you, I encourage you to lead through a value space that feels true to who you are. And in many cases, for me, that includes listening and respect, acceptance and inclusion, and the importance of collaboration. So doing so will not only help enable your success, but will help you bring others along with you in a way that truly will represent what all can be good in the business community. So it's interesting, relatively early in my career, somebody described me as really ambitious, as if that was a bad thing. Let me be clear, ambition is a good thing. So as you transition to your new beginning, don't be afraid to create your own path. Embrace your ambition. If you want it, go for it, because opportunity is truly all around you. And I hope that my story from the South Side to UIC to CEO gives you one more reason to believe that truly anything is possible. So congratulations to UIC's business class of 2019, and cheers to the limitless possibilities ahead. Thank you. Let's give one more hand to UIC alumna, Mary Dillon. Thank you, Mary. I am pleased to introduce our graduate student speaker, Vatsal Shaw. Vatsal, thank you. Uh, you probably already know a lot about him, but I'm going to say some more for the benefit of our audience here. Vatsal graduates today with a joint master's degree, both an MBA with a concentration in finance and a master of science in business analytics. During the course of his studies, Vatsal has had the opportunity to work with former NFL player turned IT giant Robert Steele and as a data analytics intern with Optimus Solutions. On campus, Vatsal has been a teaching assistant and has co-taught more than 1,000 UIC students over five semesters. Vatsal has had the privilege of representing UIC at the national level in table tennis in 2018 and has also been a part of the UIC Global Ambassador Program for three semesters. Please welcome MBA and MSBA graduate Vatsal Shaw. Thank you. Good afternoon, respected guest speaker, Mary Dillon, Dean McHale, the chancellor, dignitaries, friends, and family. Thank you for letting me speak at this auspicious moment. Uh, and I'm told that I need to resonate with graduate students, and I'll try. Uh, 
One day I was back in Vadodara, uh, a city in Gujarat, India, and the universe decided that I'll be a part of this esteemed university. I still remember that date because India lost the T2016 uh, semi-final against West Indies, uh, and I was sad, obviously. Uh, uh, and I suddenly get this email uh, from a, of, of the acceptance from UIC, and it was going to change the world to me. The University of Illinois at Chicago, what do we tell about this amazing university? Urban, diverse, warm, except you're sitting in lecture center A1. Uh, this place comes across one of the most vibrant places I've ever been in my life. Professors are so helping, so understanding. Uh, you get your grades every time, even if you don't want them. Academically, when I started in uh, fall of 2016, gosh, that does seem a long time ago, uh, I took Professor Michael Popovitz, uh, thank you, sir, uh, improv class, uh, it just set the tone for me. One of the very interesting things which I learned was saying yes and to everything you have around the corner. You'll just keep the ball rolling for you. Little did I know that this attitude would snowball into a lot of yeses and a lot of ands. Well, there were a lot of opportunities, there were a hell of hell lot of rejections as well, a lot. But that did not deter the confidence and the sheer effort to excel in what was done and what needed to be done. I believe each student sitting here has had to overcome a lot of failures in life, but is going today a very proud graduate. So to efforts, to sleepless nights, doing assignments, to getting those grades, to juggling work, life, and school, I salute you. Furthermore, I'd like to add, I'd like to you all to thank everyone today who stood by, by your degree in both tough and easy times. I'd like you all to thank even those people who did not believe in you. These people, these people made sure you had your competitive juices on. Graduating from UIC does not mean things are done. It just means things are getting started. We still have a fair way to go as a society, as tomorrow's future, and as human beings of this lovely planet. I'm hoping, I'm hoping my graduating with dual masters is seen at least as a personal accomplishment for which I cannot thank and cannot leave without thanking God, God's best gifts, my parents, my parents' best gifts, my sister. <laughs> uh, so my original speech would have had everyone present here, but a slight mishap uh, and a small road accident uh, would allow my dad and my mom not to be here. Uh, he's fine. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he comes, uh, he'll wake up tomorrow morning and says, Amaro Chokroja. <laughs> <clears throat> Loosely translated, this is my son. Cannot, cannot forget to thank Professor Michael Miller as well. He's literally, <laughs> for literally carrying me for two and a half years. Thank you from every grot that is present in India. You know the number as well. Also, my cousin, Diren Bhai, and a very dear friend, Ujwal Nagdev, UIC alumni, uh, alumni as well, industrial engineering, very important for those first pushes at UIC. At last, I'll, I'll thank you, UIC, for it's been an amazing and an absolute pleasure. Keep the flames burning strong. Cheers. Thank you, Vatsal, and uh, we're glad that your family is safe as well. I am now pleased to introduce our undergraduate student speaker, Anurag Vuthanuri. <laughs> A finance major, minoring in business analytics, Anurag has been the president of UIC's Finance and Investment Group for the past two years and is the founder of UIC's Improv Club.
He is a business scholar and honor student and is involved in many student organizations on campus, including the Collegiate Association of Business Scholars, the Business Student Advisory Board, and the UIC Business Professional Development Program, known as iLead. Anurag has interned at several companies, including William Blair, UBS, Northern Trust, NextGen Growth Private Equity, and several startups out of the tech incubator, TechNexus. Upon graduation, Anurag will be starting in a full-time rotational development role with all state investments here in Chicago, working with their private equity, research, trading, and risk and return group. Please welcome finance graduate Anurag Vuthanuri. Good afternoon, class of 2019. I want you all to take a second and let the following statement really sink in. We finally made it. We survived countless exams, paper papers, interviews, and heck, we survived accounting 210. Can I get an applause for that? Standing up here and seeing the sea of blue gowns makes me excited and becoming a UIC graduate. We are a university of change. The chancellor just signed a $1 billion project in innovating the campus for the next 10 years, and UIC might even bring Wendy's back. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> On a serious note, though, the changes that are being made revolve around the idea of investing in every single one of us. The university has invested in our potential, our knowledge, our eagerness to learn, and more importantly, our diversity. Just this past year, UIC was ranked number seven for best value colleges in America, beating out some of America's top colleges, such as Georgia Tech, Rutgers, and a small university in California. I don't know if any of you heard of this. Stanford. Yeah. This accomplishment is due to the successes we as students bring to the table. Many of us are commuters, work part-time or even full-time, student athletes, first-generation college students, and went through some of life's toughest challenges. But none of these, not even a polar vortex, held us back from completing a rigorous course load. Like many of us, I myself am a first-generation college student here in America. My parents left everything 18 years ago and made the move to America to give my sister and I a better education. Not being, in the flu not being fluent in the language or the cultural norms made it a tough change for them. But I think we can all agree, walking across the stage today proves that all the sacrifices our families made for us was not a waste. So mom, dad, thank you. What makes UIC business as valuable as it is, its ability to adapt. The amount of change that has taken place over the last four years is unmatched to any other university in the world. Four years ago, UIC piloted the iLead and Business Professionalism program, and today more universities are looking to incorporate improvisation into their curriculum. UIC business is at the forefront of innovation, change, and leadership. Growing up, my mother used to always read me Aesop's fables. One of my favorite ones I used to hear was a story of the peacock and the crane. A peacock, spreading its gorgeous tail, mocked a crane that was passing by, ridiculing the appearance of its plumage, and saying, I am robed like a king in gold and purple and all the colors of the rainbow, while you have not a bit of color on your wings. The crane gave a simple reply, true, but I soar to the heights of heaven and lift up my voice and lead everyone in my path while you walk below among the birds of the dungeon hill. As UIC graduates, I challenge every one of you to continue to be the crane in your life. Be the leader that helps embolden what people thought they could not do and achieve the unthinkable. Careers may be built on politically posturing and managing visibility, but self-belief Self-satisfaction and respect is built on the genuineness of your leadership. UIC has been a leader for us and has sculpted us into the individuals we are today. In today's world with the constant political tensions around us, 
It is our turn to help become a leader and help change in the real world. Thank you. And big shout out to my family, friends, my roommates, and the whole University Village family. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Anurag. Dean Michael McHale will now present the Silver Circle Award. Great teachers are the heart of a great university. The University of Illinois at Chicago annually recognizes and honors its great teachers. The Silver Circle Award is special because it's an award chosen by our students. This award is a reflection of the impact a dedicated faculty member can have on our students. I'm proud to present this year's award to John Sparks of our Information and Decision Sciences Department. One more time for an outstanding faculty member, John Starks. We will now begin the conferral of the degrees. Will Dean Karen Colley please come forward and present the candidates for graduate degrees to Chancellor Amaritas. Chancellor Emeritus, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the vote of the Senate, I have the honor to present these candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Candidates, please rise if you are able. Upon these recommendations and by the authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the Doctor of Philosophy degree for which you have been recommended and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. Congratulations. You may now be seated. Candidates for Master of Science degrees in Accounting, Business Analytics, Finance, Management Information Systems, and Marketing, please rise if you are able. <laughs> Chancellor Emeritus, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the vote of the Senate, I have the honor to present these candidates for the degree of Master of Science, which is granted by the Graduate College in various fields of study. Upon these recommendations and by the authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the Master's degree for which you have been recommended and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. Congratulations. Please be seated. Michael McHale, Dean of the College of Business Administration, will now present candidates for the Master of Business Administration and candidates for the Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Science degrees. Candidates for the Master of Business Administration degree, please rise if you are able. Chancellor Emeritus, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by vote of the Senate, I have the honor to present these candidates for the degree of Master of Business Administration. Upon these recommendations and by the authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the Master's of Business Administration degree for which you have been presented and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. Congratulations to all of you. For those standing, please be seated. 
Candidates for the Bachelor of Business Administration and the Bachelor of Science degrees, please rise if you are able. Chancellor Emeritus, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by vote of the Senate, I have the honor to present these candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Science in various fields of study. Upon these recommendations and by the authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree for which you have been recommended and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. You may now move your tassels from the right side to the left side as graduates of the university. Congratulations. For those standing, please be seated. We will now begin the individual recognition of our graduates. Today, we are honored to have the following faculty and staff presiding as readers of our graduates' names. Will each of you faculty and staff rise as you hear your name? Director of Student Professional Development, Michael Popowitz. Clinical Assistant Professor, Judge George Scully. Clinical Professor, Osger Arslan Iyadeen. Assistant Dean for Student Services, Angela Praza Winters. And College Recruiter, Kerr Sadrudin. Michael Popowitz will now introduce the PhD in Business Administration, PhD in Management Information Systems, Master of Business Administration, Bachelor of Business Administration, and Business Scholar graduates. Darchuan Chen, dissertation, principal component analysis and realized regression with asynchronous and noisy high frequency data. Sid Bhattacharya, Professor, Director of Masters of Science and Business Analytics, will now recognize the graduate and degree candidates for the doctorate in Management Information Systems. Les Trujillo Torres, whose dissertation is titled Valorization Dynamics in the Consumption of Cancer Treatment Health Services. Don Klemper, Associate Professor and Co-Director of the Institute for Leadership Excellence and Development, ILEAD, will now recognize the graduate and degree candidate for the Doctorate in Business Administration. Sitting Wan, whose dissertation is titled, Supervisors' Reactions to Managers' Servant Leadership, the Effect of Self-Concern and Other Orientation.
Sid Bhattacharya, Professor and Director of Management, uh, Master of Science in Business Analytics, will now recognize the graduate and degree candidate for the Doctorate in Management Information Systems. Ming Hong Xu, whose dissertation is titled Inferential Statistical Analyses on Information Network Generation. Sid Balachandran, Associate Professor and Director of Graduate Studies, will now recognize the graduates and degree candidates for Masters of Business Administration. Uh, Zaid Albasi. Adam Anderson. Priyang Bakshi. Anna Julia Berg. Alia Buley. Ricardo Diaz. Sean Elliott. Andrew Fine. Anansertsal Gartsong. Dana Hassoon. Yi Ting Huang. Ryan Junidi. Alexander Koff. Joseph Leonard. Wen He Lee. Elizabeth Logic. Thiraj Muhajan. Timothy Martin, Anurag Mohan, Carly Mostar, Sean O'Connor, Eric Prendergast. Jason Rogers. Vatsal Shah. Alma Sias. Sarah Sidarius. Supicha Tontranakwong. Kevin Vadikadat. Dan Young Wang. Tiranop Wong Titi Rote. Ding Chung Wu. Yi Ping Shu. Anna Yankilev. Okay. Abigail McWilliams, Professor and Associate Dean, will now recognize the graduates and degree candidates for the Bachelor of Business Administration. Hector Alvarez. Brenna Beebe. <laughs> Tiffany Blair. <laughs> Tiffany Blair. 
Khadija Bowadi. Svetlana Brodka. Frank Castaneda. Tonathio Castillo. Taylor Else. Ethan Flynn. Myra Gutierrez. Matthew Areza. Damon Horn. Travis Howell. Michael Jimenez. Chloe Liseris. Elaine Mariscal Bamonte. Angela Miller. Timothy Moy. Sam Wen. Julio Panora. Daniela Spencer. Ralph Venturanza. Sandy Wayne, Professor, Faculty Director, and Associate Dean, will now recognize the graduates and degree candidates for the 2019 cohort of business scholars. Philip Aqua. Jenny Wang. Adeyans Ade Agarwal. Scott Augustine. Nestor Aviles. James Bennett. Connor Cast, Johnny Fan, Charles Federico, Barbara Galinska, Myra Herrera, Michelle Antonucci. Aliyah James. Nicole Kaushonsky. Sumble Khan. Michael Kiawas. Alisa Lee. Marcelo Dib. Michaela O'Malley. Darius Pager. Christian Paramo. Laura Perez. Joanna Pshaitua. Jennifer Romo. Michelle Romo. Stephanie Rosner. Kieran Servana. Vishani Shah. Leah Smith. Daniel Stewart. Marlena Shemchok. Samrudi Vagmari. Yaritza Velasquez. Anurag Vuthanuri. Carla Wentz. 
Kevin Ziegenhorn. All right. George Scully will now introduce the Master of Science in Accounting and Bachelor of Science in Accounting graduates. Agna Belakaita. Samantha Betcher. Cynthia Garrett. Myung Guang. Kim Hoa. Juan Martinez. Aaron Mayer. Neil Vasudev Patel. Naira Komar. Edwin Rivera. John Wilson. Ning Jo. Uzer Mapara. Brittany James. Araceli Almasan. Laura Aravalo. Ishmael Avila. Alana Braun. Justin Butkus. Jasmine Amelia Carrillo. Nader Catan. Jose Cervantes. Chen Chen. Song Chun Chen. Lucida Kobani. Kevin DeFacio. <laughs> Gaetano De Pasquale. <laughs> Dennis Gini. Gabriel Duran. Pamela Fernandez. <laughs> Christian Garcia. Eben George. Shuja Guan. Jessica Hernandez. Brenda Herrera. Anna Halzinski. John Ignacio. Zen Zen Quang. Paige Kuser. Karina Grimaldo. Li Hong Guan. Marco Lalich. Miguel Ledisma. Annette Le Lesnicki. Jesse Lopez. Adam Malice. Kenneth Mendoza. Marina Menchanina. Daniel Min. Natalia Mladzianowski. Armin Mirick. Robert Newman. Vanessa Katrin Paye. Janaki Patel. Melissa Perez. Meritire Ramirez. Cesar Ramoni. 
Beatrice Rios. Maria Roja. Geronimo Uri Ruiz. Martha Salinas. Diana Sayer. Lauren Schultz. Nicholas Solovastru. Yvette Sotelo. Angelina Topar. Danny Tran. Elia Varda. Druti Vasani. Tyler Wong. Yunxin Zier. Vilina Rastinova Jelisova. Inchu Jo. Hector Aguilera. Jorge Camino. Quen Kim. Gino Stambula. Moran Tang. Asgore Arzia Ayadin, Clinical Professor of Finance, will now introduce Master of Science in Business Analytics, Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship, Master of Science in Finance, and Bachelor of Science in Finance graduates. Pratyusha Arap Arapavali. Jennifer Arce, Anshul Argal, Akshaya Arankumar, Saijanane Bala Subramanian, Naimisha Bandi, Kumar Prayash Barua, Aditya Bandari. Agatsya Bogila. <laughs> Minan Cheng. Abilash Reddy Chen Reddy. Niha Shimata. <laughs> Shaita Dadaga Mahavir Kumar. Elai Daj. Pratyusha Dasari. Vivek Devi, Brian Gaunt, Marunal Mahesh Garpade, Mayank Gongnail, Rohit Gunuganti, Amit Gupta, Praka Gupta, Ashima Hora, Stephen Hutler, Prafil Singh Jadon, Surujan Kadana Wiswanath, Sri Pranavi Kanduri, Pulkit Kanjolia, Shiranjeevi Khanna, Kainat Han. Sunaina Kera, Manasa Koka, Nishand Kuma Kapuraruri, Nachiket Kore, Vinayak Kudwa, Suresha Reddy Lakiredi, Christopher Lee. 
Shreya Reddy Maharaj Gibari. Neeraj Malvia. Andrew Maybach. Mihi Nagwika. Pooja Narayanan. Dananjai Narayanan Putumana. Shire Notiel. Basuntara Parasar. Priya Panchak Sharapa. Dami Park. Arshan Patel. Mikhil Pavu Powell. Nandini Podnar. Santosh Kumar Ponanda. Vimal Prakash. Jaityok Rangnikar. Pranoy Ravindranath Kanagi Ravindranath. Joshua Ross. Tanvi Sethi. Kartikeya Sharma. Masu Sritna Grishma. Komal Tejwani. Gabriela Valencia. Jaya Washini Varnasi. Akshat Wema. Swapnik Shashnank Paki. Grace James. Naveen Somiredi. Benny Durbury Sapens, Professor Department Head, will now recognize the graduates and degree candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship. Nicholas Mornian. Priyanka Bansov. Letitia Holyfield. Prana Kandelwal. Do you know? <laughs> Andrew Botnaruk, Professor and Interim Department Head, will now recognize the graduates and degree candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Finance. Milan Abd. Samar Abit. Daphne Ambrose. Myra Asif. <laughs> Gabriel Agustiniak. Aaron Ayala. Sabrina Aziz. Jesus Cardona. Peyton Case. Tyler Converso. Caroline Cyrus. Irene Diaz. Nicole Dior. Alexander Georgievich. Michael Demente. Brian Darlow. Joshua Dalston. Melanie Elizabeth. Omar Ford. Alex Garcia. Julian Garcia. Roseanne Garrido. King Hong Dong. Antonio Gonzalez. Aiden Graff, Ivan Guerrero, Marcin Goose, Thomas Hendricks, Sarah Durrani, oh, 
Sarah also has a dual degree in psychology. Alejandra Hernandez. Sandra Otto. Yuan Huang. Pablo Ibarra. Pamela Jasso. Yi Xiao. John Jonathan. Jacob Johnson, Samir Kalva, Isabella Capel, Diana Carajalos, Vasilios Carajalos, Kevin Caspi, Tai Taya Kessi, Serish Khan. Ramsha Kumar, Jocelyn Lazar Rechinos, David Lekovics, Yanni Lee, Shu Teng Lee, Felipe Liao, Joshua Lim, Iris Logan. Lima, Wen Yu Ma, Riley Mahoney, Emily Malishko, Noah Massa, <laughs> Alexander Matzek, Mutasa Mofre, Mohammed Mohammed Ali. Jordan Moore, Berat Muya, Noah Muley, Alexandra Nodoyan, Jack Neal, Michael Obumaya, Camille Order, Agatha Otero, Francisca Pacheco, Sang Ang No, Roshan Pan, Asha Patel, Anip Patel, Shivani Patel, Tanhaban Patel, Wasan Ponko, Leslie Portillo, Gabriel Reyes, Jose Reynoso, Alexander Robles, Miguel Rosales, Julie Rubel, Jasmine Ruiz, Martina Ruska, Muncha Sade. Gerlene Sahota, Sokipa Saipova, yeah, Sokipa. Edward Salsa, Costas Sampras, Victor Sanchez, Benjamin Saragoza, Kevin Sarnotsky, Brian Schatz, Mohamed Darush Shabir, Ishan Shah, Yumeng Shen, Sana Siddiqui, Anasavan Saint Vigong, Stanislav Soika, Sebastian Sereno, Ilya Stambolic, Nasia Sultana, Maggie Saplarski, Michael Schwarzgiel, Angela Preser Winters, Assistant Dean of Student Services, will continue introducing the Bachelor of Science in Finance 
Bachelor of Science in Information and Decision Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Management, and Master of Science in Management Information Systems graduates. Okay. Quinn Ta. Shiran Tagirov. Roger Anthony Tating Jr. Frank Tedesso. Didier Theory. Jithin Thomas. Hema Toledo. Juan Trigueros. Keitan Trivedi. Pranav Tuteya. Mario Vasquez. Yasmin Wadio. Emily Huang. Nicole Watkins. Gongja Wei. Paul Weiss. Alexandra Witt. Patrick Wojcik. Jasmine Wu. Angela Zarka. Christos Tes Tesla Patiotis. Alex Zadan. Shi Yi Shaw. Merrick Zitek. Daniel Dakiopis. Junzo Lo. Brian Adamusik. Fen Som Mei. Sid Bhattacharya, department head and professor, will now recognize the graduates and degree candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Information and Decision Sciences. Mohammed Abdelmajid. Carol Aguilar. Juliza Aguirre. Salah Ahmed. Aisha Ali. Saharat Amnwe. John Brandt. Isabel Calderon. Luis Cruz. Jose De Leon. Yin Fang. Christopher Guglioza. Michael Hernandez. Rita Imran. Amy Huang. Danielle Lopez. Derek Marable. Romeo Marquez. Jonathan Mars. Jaya Naka. AJ Naji. Edgar Oseguera. Nundus Patel. Ernesto Perez. Lee Fan. Jose Ramirez. Yvette Rodriguez. Omar Salka. Sydney Schoolcraft. Hari Shah. Samir Sharif. Amar Taylor. Ashtar Yukana. Adam Ramey. Hershal Patel. Benet DeBerry Spence, professor and department head, will now recognize graduates and degree candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Management. Christian Aguayo. Abdul Rahim Ahmed Arif. Marissa Avendano. Joseph Basilio. Shreya Bajanki. 
Sheila Cabrera. Rodolfo Carrera. Jesus Correa. Shakira Davis. Tree Duke Din. Lauren Fisher. Natalie Grosh. Jose Hernandez. Devin Hovel. Paolo Ianata. Harris Imamovic. Chandra Jong. Charlie Kang. Jenny Lima. An Lu. Ikra Meghani. Han Min, Emma Mora Fitzgerald, <laughs> Stephanie Owens, Krishna Patel, Tyler Portis, Jeremy Riegler, Pablo Rivera, Jasmine Robles. Carla Rodriguez, Audrey Romans, Richard Saldivar, Zoha Sharif, Kelly Sundi, Marjolene Tomenbang, David Tran, Alec Venek. Irina Vasus, Daniel Wakura, Chelsea Wilkie, Lael Wynn, Sandy Shang, Jacqueline Zumanaji, Keith Dickerson II, Tanya Huda. Ranga Chandrasekharan, Professor and Director of Graduate Studies, will now recognize the graduates and degree candidates for the Master of Science in Information Systems. Akish Adlaka. Somya Agarwal. Jawaria. Amin. Ole Antoniuk. Gurpeet Aurora. Anurag Banerjee. Mahak Behal. Shirin Bhatt. Sumit Birla. Devika Chaudhary. Shalaka. Kuntino, Rutul Desai, Aparva Deshmukh, Kalindi Deshmukh, Aishwarya Deshpandi, Tunmai Diani, Sagarika Dutta, Ashutosh Devidi, Mudup Gag, Varun Garg, Pridyadarshani Govindarajan, Antara Gupta, Dishant Gupta, Akanksha Jain, Shivanji Javar, Abhilash Thevenyaraj, Purvina Kuhram, Tarun Kurana, Sumit Kichlu, Aparva Krishnan, Sumit Kukreja, 
Nikita Malu, Dalisha Matthew, Ashwin Kumar Mathi, Anchal Mukesh, Somya Naraj, Vidi Naik, Hetvi Pasad, Nitin Philip, Mira Pradeep, Shivanji Priya, Gurucharan Ramachandran, Twinkle Singh, Mohammed Rehan, Shashank Sabu, Lavanya Sathana Krishnan, Mitali Million Savant, Neha Sharma, Priyanka Sharma, Ulubya Srivatis, Sahana Srivat Shisharadi, Shreyas Shukla, Devenya Singh, Anurag Sinhao, Varun Sood, Charanya Subramanian, Siva Ganesh Subramanian, Harsh Sukra Harmani, Ajinka Tope, Ritika Upadhyay, Matthew Vadakantra, Akshata Valsaraj, Yokesh Vishthanathan, Abhishek Yadav, Sindhu Janaradan Aharo, Anisha Singhal, Kerr Sadradin will now introduce the Master of Science in Marketing and the Bachelor of Science in Marketing graduates. Alan Malter, Associate Professor and Director of Graduate Studies, will now recognize the graduates and degree candidates for the Master of Science in Marketing. Yasmin Ahmad. Aaron Brophy Luntz. Michael Chen. Imani Watson. Lance Whitaker. Benet DeBerry Spence, professor and department head, will now recognize the graduates and degree candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Marketing. Aisha Abbasi. Carlo Ahumada. Mohiman Al Hassan. Julio Aparicio. Luis Ariano. Robinson Armentia. Gabrielle Bema. Tyler Ben Benavides. Jessica Bila. Ryan Breach. Chelsea Camacho. Rosario Capote. Ashley Castaneda. Brianne Castillo. Eduardo Casterjohn. Mary Ching. 
Kiera Cole. Pablo Collin. Rual De La Cruz. Austin Deacon. Ariana Estrada. Alias Flores. Roxana Fulkerko. Bianca Garcia. Zainab Gaius. Carolina Galuski. Elizabeth Gasnapugov. Kelly Gunn. Catherine Gutierrez. Mariah Hawkins. Riley Abair. Kayla Hyatt. Stephanie Elos. Yusuf Joffrey. Chelsea Johns. Jordan Jones. Rithin Joseph. Jasmine Juarez. Jason Kowalczyk. Heather Kuth. Chandler Lang. Brian Langowski. Kimberly Lazara. Alex Lilquist. Alejandra Yines. Enrique Lopez. Sarah Magner. Rena Merchant. Iwana Merche. Nadir Mian. Caroline Mishichek. Joshua Moy. Jocelyn Nava. Julian Northcross. Leah Oblina. Christian Ocampo. Kevin Oko. Emily Amundsen. Elizabeth Pantoja. Christina Patino. Steve Plakin. Stefano Quaranta. Amanda Rasuthrai. Aaron Robaletto. Luke Riddle. Myra Robles. John Rodriguez. Rebecca Romack. Cynthia Salinas. Michael Samuelson. Nicole Saraku. Alejandra Savino. Anthony Sirico. Natalie Skinner. Rebecca Turley. Jaliza Vargas. Tang Vo. Yu Ying Wang. 
Chase Wilson. Olivia Zygman. Derek Patrick. Jacob Reed. Mai Tran. Sing Gao. Swam Patel. Kumar Varma. Ladies and gentlemen and people of all persuasions, let's hear your loudest applause of the day for the UIC Business graduating class of 2019. Thanks to all of you for joining us for this joyous occasion this afternoon. This concludes our 2018 commencement ceremony. Graduates and guests, please remain seated until the platform party recesses out of the arena, and then you can meet your loved ones uh, outside the arena. Thank you all again.